Beautiful souls, welcome back to my channel. Wherever you are in the world today, it is a pleasure to have you here. And happy Friday. Here, here we are, first week of June, already done and dusted, beautiful souls. Uh, it's just crazy. And um, I'm so happy when these cards came out this morning, I was like, oh my goodness, thank you, thank you, thank you. Because yesterday's message was a little bit deep and um, I do hope, beautiful souls, that for those of you that it was resonating with, that you've shifted your perspective and you've gotten yourself back on track. And I'm feeling that you have because these cards out today, beautiful souls, I heavily feel are on the back of the previous message. So if you resonate with this, you may want to go back and check the other one out. But your first card out today is number 20, don't compromise. What a beautiful card. And here's this big heart. Again, we talked about um, destiny helpers and divine counterparts yesterday, beautiful souls, you know, feeling a little bit despondent. Maybe your heart hasn't been, you know, really in the right place, they're just saying. But you've got these beautiful golden wings that are literally coming out of this gorgeous beautiful heart and they're just saying the rainbow colors all around it so rainbows angel wings red hearts could also be signifiers to you at this time boundaries assertiveness courage and unwavering faith are your key words so don't compromise beautiful souls your clarifier from the archangel power cards is eight of Raphael and I love this card there is something better waiting for you do what you know is right for you a spiritual quest do what is right for you don't compromise it's not anybody else's journey beautiful souls it's yours Here's Archangel Raphael in the back of this picture, right, in nature. Some of you may need to get out in nature again this weekend. Maybe go and sit under the trees or go for a walk or something, beautiful souls. And there's a little gorgeous little babbling brook there, um, obviously the bridge. Money, they're just saying, here's this chest of money. Now, yesterday's message was all about feeling like the five of pentacles outside in the cold, resources being tight, right, or frozen, feeling quite icy or depleted, beautiful souls. And here we are with the angels today literally saying to you, do not worry because here's this big treasure, treasure chest full of gold coins. You are going to have more than enough, beautiful souls. For those of you that are worrying about money right now, or money's been tight, or whatever situation that is, do not worry. Your needs are going to be met in more ways than you can ever imagine. There is something better waiting for you. Do, do what you know is right for you, a spiritual quest. Many of you have done the work. There's also a dog in here. So dogs are all about being faithful, right? So maybe you've got someone by your side. This could be your spirit guide, beautiful souls, your guardian angel by your side, making sure that you cross over. I've talked about feeling as if many of us have been in transition phases, crossing from the old over into the new. And maybe that's why some of you have been feeling, you know, depleted or drained, particularly with finances, especially if you've had to move physically or, you know, you've gone from one job to another, beautiful souls. You may have had additional expenses at this time. Take it as it resonates. But your needs will always be met. You will always have more than enough. They just said the word overflow. There are so many gold coins in this treasure chest that they're even spilling out onto the ground. And you know, beautiful souls, blessed to be a blessing. You've heard it out of my mouth many times. That is what I ask for. Bless me. Bless me so much that I can bless other people as well. Just literally paying it forward. Number 20, don't compromise. Sometimes people come into our lives and challenge our boundaries or our commitments to our visions. Oh my goodness. Maybe, beautiful souls, this is part of yesterday's message where you weren't seeing eye to eye or different points of view with different people. 
It's because they're not on your path. God has given you a divine plan, a soul blueprint that is just yours and yours alone. There's nobody else in this picture other than Archangel Raphael. And sometimes for many of us, it's going to feel like a really lonely or isolated journey. But that is because usually, beautiful souls, our calling is so much bigger. Your ability to stay strong in the face of such challenges is serving you well. Others may not be pleased with your decisions and conviction to your goals, but that's all right. Seriously, I heavily feel this is tied in with the previous message. Stand your ground. I was figures yesterday, back to back, beautiful souls. You know, stand your ground. If this is something that is resonating deep within your soul and your heart and you just know, you know because you just know because you've been getting all these signs and symbols, you know your guides and angels are with you, you just know that that's the way forward for you. Sometimes, beautiful souls, you're going to ruffle some feathers that you're saying, right? But that's okay. It's not their journey. They can't see the end result. It's not, they're not on that set location. They're on a completely different course. They may mean well, particularly if this is family or friends or even your partners, for those of you with partners. But most of the time, beautiful souls, it's going to be a solo journey. Your guardian angels are patting you on the back and applauding you for your strength. And I am too, beautiful souls. If that has been you and, you know, you've just had to just, Go against the flow, like the salmon sw swimming upstream sometimes, beautiful souls. That's okay. You've got a vision. You've got a goal. You've got dreams and desires that God has placed in your heart that you know you are going in the right direction where others may not. You, may, you are being reminded that your kindness is your greatest strength, but it can also be your biggest challenge. This is for my givers out there. Many of us have had to learn to stop overgiving, particularly to the wrong people. We've been way too generous with our hearts and souls and even our resources, beautiful souls, in the past with the wrong people. If you sacrifice your own dreams for the wishes of those around you continually, your progress will be at a standstill. That is a message for someone specific or a small group of you out there where you may feel as though you've been treading water for far too long. But again, look around you, beautiful souls. Have you been people pleasing? Have you been dimming your light to fit in, to keep quiet, to just stay in the flow with everybody else where your soul is going, no, this is not where we want you. The universe is giving you permission to make your personal aspirations a priority. Over and over, these messages keep coming out. These soul missions are being activated right now. And again, for some people, you may have to leave them behind. You may have to just separate yourself from them at this time, beautiful souls, as well. Color activation, orange and red. Orange energy encourages healthy boundaries and thriving relationships. The color red allows us to perceive the energy exchange with others because that is the heart space. Do people have the same um, wishes for you, beautiful souls? Do people wish you well or are they frenemies in the background? You know, being nice to your face, but really, you know, when you walk away, they're kind of like sending you, like they're envious of you, they're jealous of you, they're resentful of you. Whatever that is, there's a small group of you out there that may be coming up against that energy with people around you at this time. And boundaries is where it's at. Ace of Raphael, there is something better waiting for you exclamation mark the ways in which you've evolved have you convinced that there must be more to life because there is this isn't it beautiful souls 
you've got you're crossing over at this time many of you are crossing over into these new places and spaces new people places and things new jobs new careers your own businesses new homes relocating new relationships new friendships etc the inward search for for answers is rewarded at this time it is time to leave the past behind that literally came up only days ago and embrace a brand new you. Many of you, I also feel, are going to go through some kind of a makeover is what they're just giving me. Now, ladies, this could be my beautiful feminines, this could be hair, this could be changing your makeup, this could be changing your wardrobe, fellas, exactly the same, my beautiful kings and masculines out there. Something about you, your physical appearance, and I'm just getting goosebumps and it's been a couple of days, but definitely lighting up. Some of you out there are actually going to be changing your appearance physically in some way, shape or form. Um... This choice is not forced upon you, but is of your own making. Your past experiences have been very important in helping you understand who you truly are. So thank these people, beautiful souls. Thank them. Thank them for the lessons. Thank them for the wisdom. Thank them for putting you through those trials and tribulations and challenges because look at you, look at you now with all of your wisdom, with all of your strength, with all of your resilience, all of the gifts that God has given or activated in you or encoded in you or strengthened in you. Be grateful for what you've learned. Hard to do, beautiful souls, right? Been there, done that got the t-shirt the hat and everything else it's true and still there are certain situations where it really is you know they're just saying you've just got to suck it up and just go it was all for a purpose and we may not see that purpose yet but we will God always works everything out for our highest good no matter what it looks like and build upon it a relocation, here we go again, or change in your job or relationships is possible at this time. How many times? You could probably go back through my thumbnails, beautiful souls, in the last couple of weeks, especially the last couple of months, and tick off how many times this has come up. You are literally crossing over, literally Additional meanings of this card, a journey. Many of you are embarking on a whole new journey, physically, metaphorically, spiritually, mentally, emotionally, a spiritual quest, doing what you know is right for you, a change of interests. Heavily feel that this message today, beautiful souls, is on the back of yesterday. Maybe not, but I definitely feel for a group of you out there that it is, right? Standing your ground, knowing that what God has placed in your heart, you know the way, your higher self knows the way, you are being divinely led. And sometimes that's going to ruffle some feathers, beautiful souls, and sometimes that's going to cause you to have to step up and be brave, they're just saying, and courageous and step out into the unknown because you are transitioning into this whole new place, this space, this whole new way of being and living, this whole new you. Literally, many of you have been rebuilt from the inside out on a cellular level. Two bonus little guidance cards from the angels today, beautiful souls. As you know, I always take them. The first one, I now see why this has come out. Cleanse and detoxify. Great card to go into the weekend. Some of you may be embarking, especially for those of you in the Northern Hemisphere, you've just clicked over into summer. Some of you may be embarking on actual cleanses 
or detoxifying things, people, places and things out of your environment. You may be doing a detox over this period or looking into doing a detox to clean your beautiful vessel out. Take it as it resonates. So just saying sun energy. So very important at this time. With great love and respect, we ask you to detoxify your precious and sensitive body. Now, this could be purification, beautiful souls, of old energies, old clothes, clutter, decluttering, whatever it is for you, but also taking a good hard look, they're just saying, at what you're actually putting into your vessel and onto it, right? At your request, remember, free will will help you to develop life-affirming ways to deal with stress as well as ease any sorrow at shedding your old ways. Oh, my goodness. Brand new you. Give your cares, your worries and concerns to us and feel the beautiful grace of a newly purified body. This golden light, beautiful souls, had a few people say June feels like gold energy. Well, there it is. Beautiful. This rich, like gold, orange. So, again, sacral chakra and solar plexus heavily activating at this time, which they're just saying your power centers, all about confidence, right? And just really being so in tune with yourself that you know exactly what you need to do with great love and respect we ask you to detoxify your precious and sensitive body at your request will help you to develop life-affirming ways to deal with stress as well as ease any sorrow at shedding your old ways so that's detoxification beautiful souls getting rid of old belief patterns old thought patterns old programs old stored trauma, past hurts, forgiveness, all of those things. Give your cares, your worries and concerns to us and feel the beautiful grace of a newly purified body. Your second one, gorgeous. Ask. What do I always say? Don't ask, don't get. It is that simple. Ask us to help you in this situation and we will immediately go to work on your behalf. We're governed by many universal laws and among them is free will that allows you to make your own choices and decisions. So we patiently wait for your request. This is the sign for one or some of you out there. Full moon in the background, beautiful souls. So again, by the next full moon, I'm not sure when that is in June. I'd have to look it up. I'm going to say towards the end of the month, but I could be wrong. Could also be sun energy, but it feels like the moon to me. So you've got sun and you've got moon energy, beautiful souls. Don't ask, don't get. Ask us to help you in this situation and we will immediately go to work on your behalf. Not in half an hour, not after lunch break, not next week, not in a couple of weeks, not when, you know, whatever, whatever. Immediately go to work on your behalf. We're governed by many universal laws and among them is the free will that allows you to make your own choices and decisions. So we patiently await your request. Some of you beautiful souls need to get back into asking and I know many of you do, but perhaps this is for some of my beautiful first time viewers. Maybe this is what's been slowing you down or keeping you at a standstill, they're just saying. Um, take them as they resonate, beautiful souls. Hit me up in the comments. These last two days especially have been very interesting messages, very beautiful, very profound messages and obviously very much needed for one or some of you out there. Let me know if that is you, beautiful souls. Hit that little thumbs up button below if you do feel um, that you've resonated with this message and of course to my beautiful new viewers, if you feel divinely led, hit that little notifications bell, subscribe to my 
channel. I would love to see you in here. And of course, I'm sending you all beautiful, abundant blessings for the most magnificent, happy weekend. I'll see you in here next week. Bye for now.